Right, here we are back with another video. It's been a while since I've made one because, uh, but since I got some time on my hands now, get a little bored. I figured I'd make some, and I and I I got to thinking that most of the videos that I have posted are, you know, a year old or better than a year old. Some of them are still pre-hero, no heroes, and most of them and most of them are strategies prior to bullet or made prior to the bullet update and since bullet dropped we've got uh, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of new strategies involving bullet for a lot of maps so uh, that we're gonna look at one of them today because it's the only bullet hit I have on uh, one of my logs right now and that's that's uh that's ransom ransom so we're gonna look at yesterday's ransom first to talk about here I am Freddy and uh, full disclosure this is during the uh, during the GB tribe boost so you can see right now even though I only have six GB statues I'm at 284 percent instead of the usual 254 percent so keep that in mind but that's not going to affect this attack that I'm about to show you because I had just gobs and gobs of GBE still in the still in the bank when the, when the map went down okay first thing we want to look at on a ransom is the mine the first thing you're going to do whenever you hit attack is you got to clear mines and the mines that we clear is first we check what level mines these are now something happened uh, in the last couple of months or since I made videos but I remember I used to always be able to watch the replay and click these mines and see what level they are but now it's only showing me the splash damage area and not the level but uh, Nonetheless, the first, we check the level of these uh, three mines. If this mine in particular is uh, 22, I art it. And I art it because when you're, go when you're going up a bullet, bullet's going to trip the mine. But there might be some girls close enough to get some splash damage from that level 22 mine and kill them. So I always uh, art this if it's a max mine. I leave it if it's not. And this mine right here, this boom mine, and this... Uh, mine in between the sniper towers I always drop a art in the center of those to get both of those also because uh, on your flare up if your timing isn't just absolutely perfect which it isn't all the time and that's okay you'll have maybe even just one one, one zooka or two zookas go to the left of the sniper tower and they will set off that mine and if it's a and your, your girls will get some splash damage from that and then the next mines that's got to go are these three and these these ones right here now whenever you do the slingshot on ransom uh, 70 girls go to the right and 30 girls go to the left now we let the 30 that go to the left die when we're doing the bullet slingshot and not doing it with uh, and not doing uh, the, the brick hit with the bullet slingshot we let the girls go to the left die and those girls that go to the left are gonna trip these mines right here and it's possible, I've seen it happen, if you get if you get a little splash damage, if one of these are max, uh, the splash damage from these will kill girls, your girls that are going to the right as they walk by just from the splash damage because they're just on the edge of the splash damage radius. And those are the mines to clear. And I typically will do, if, if I don't have to do this one up here, whenever you have mines up and down, a barrage will get them and one art. That is pretty much all you got to do. And when it comes to the landing, the landings, uh, uh, you almost always have an anchor point on the ransom uh, defenses near the beach. So I never do the flare unload. Uh, always a flag drop under two smoke. It's, it's important to try to do it under two smoke because if you use three, uh, it really cuts down on the amount of GBE, GBE you have up top, especially if you have a multiple shock ransom, which this one, we only have one shock. And to know what you need to shock is you look at these conduits. You can see this. If you see my cursor over here, these conduits coming out of the... Here, let me just write on the screen. these conduits that are coming out of the core into the ground you see on the left here and here at the bottom now what uh, let's erase these 
when your, your girls that go to the right will all be standing to the right of this left conduit. You draw a line right there, all your girls will be on this side of, uh, of that line. So any, any defenses, if you have rockets or something that, that don't even quite reach the edge of that conduit, you don't have to shock because all your girls will be to the left of it. So actually, okay, I lost connection, let's reload. Okay, so actually in this attack, if you look, all that's going to need to be shocked is these uh, four machine guns. This back machine gun don't reach, but these four do, so it's just going to be one shot. We'll shock them all. And nothing else, uh, not, none of the other splash damage defenses quite reaches it, so it's just a uh, one shot. So let's uh, wash it a little bit. We'll do the clearing the mine there, clearing these. Do the flag drop. Yeah, I'll talk about where to place those smokes too here in just a second. And make sure you flare up before that smoke expires to not expose your girls. And then you take that path. Here, let's talk about the landing and the flare point really quickly. The landing on on Ransom and all all left slanted beaches such as this one, uh, this will be the same landing also for complex. Uh, when, when you're trying to do a two smoke flag drop in the right corner, you can see you can see on the on the beach, on these right slanted beaches, you see this line right here in the uh, in the beach and then also underneath the water line you see this horizontal line you can see those well right where they meet this slanted line under the water line right here just slightly to the right of that that's where you tap for your first smoke you tap that and your smokes gonna be somewhere over in here and then you just tap your uh, second smoke to where they just touch each other but that's the same point under the water line and those are not titties those are smokes but those are where you throw the smokes and on the flare up you can see right where I throw the flare it's important you shitty connection down here in South America in my third world Wi-Fi it's gonna turn into a 20 minute video because of my connection But the flare point is right behind the sniper tower and the wall, right here. It's important that you throw it here, not down here, not down here, not up here. You want it right in here, uh, in between the sniper tower and the wall, to make them walk where we want them to walk. And that walk will be, if you flare right there, the walk is, let me get my pen back. They will go to the right of these, and then we'll go single file. It will be a single file line, just like so. So you know where to smoke ahead of time, and you can stretch your smokes out a little bit and not do a lot of overlapping, because they'll be, if you flare right there, they'll be in a single file line, and they won't split and go too, uh, too wide. They won't go around any defenses, which is, uh, which is nice. And whenever you're ready to do the final flare in order to make them to make them do the slingshot to make them split like they need to split you're going to flare on the defense that's in the corner up here right now it's this boom cannon let me pause it is that boom cannon now I throw that flare as your girls are walking single file up through here about when the first girl about when the first girl reaches the wall over here, I toss the flare. 
you don't want to wait and let them gather up at this flare and start to spread. You want to throw, you want to keep them on the move and don't let them stop. So about when the first girl reaches the wall, uh, I'll flare the boom cannon or whatever defense is up there right now. It's a boom cannon. And then they will walk up single file along the wall here. They will walk up single file along this wall and 30 girls will continue going straight and trip these mines and 70 will go to the right of this machine gun and go around and target uh, and target that boom cannon. Now when they all get settled, flare the core and get rid of the shot. And uh, that about covers the slingshot, so let's see it in uh, let's see it in real time. Start it over. Okay, we'll art those two mines. Barrage for the mines around the machine gun. Now we'll do our two smoke flag drop. I must be thinking about something. There I go. Throw a smoke and flare up before your beach smoke expires to keep the rockets from jumping on your girls. There you can see the single file path. Memorize it. It's the same every time. And now about when the girls reach that spot there I just flared the boom cannon and they just keep moving. You see one girl goes left. So she would have tripped those mines. Now I don't recommend doing the two smoke uh, finish like I just did. I, uh, I just didn't stretch one of my smokes good enough and wanted to make sure I got coverage. Now flare the core, keep taunt up, and keep those machine guns shocked and this, uh, this map's done. So you'll see I had it down in two shocks. I threw a third but it fell. I had it down in two shocks and I had many more shocks in the bank and you can see how much health Bullet still had on him so I could have taunted a lot more. Now you can see this wasn't a, let's see, 699 percent. That's uh, 1.6 million. This was a 1.6 million ransom so it wasn't very healthy. Uh, you know, it's, it's not too impressive and it was an easy shock. And it's not the usual uh, defense setup on the right that you'll see on a ransom. So we'll look at another one really quickly just to show you the shock because this is the shock you'll be doing most of the time. And I just did it in today's op. And now you'll see, you'll see that this has you, these uh, shock launchers and grappler here with these five machine guns. Now these five machine guns are almost always here and this is usually four shock launchers. Uh, now there's a grappler, but it doesn't matter. But it's still just a one shock. You see this one, this this uh, rocket launcher don't quite reach. And uh, the typical ones up here, go. Th these will go for bullet and there's, there's no other splash damage defenses in range. Just the usual and Right here, this is like the Java shock. You can do this on one shock. You um, you don't have to do two shocks. And you hit your shot. You just tap right there, and it will shock this quad and get these three machine guns. FYI, so you can do it in one. What you really need to do on these high health uh, high health ransoms. This one is I uh, can't see you right now. And you see the defenses up here are now on machine guns. And I didn't quite kill this ransom, but let's uh now let's watch the hit. Wasn't a hot beach, so you could do a one smoke drop. Flare up. And about when the girls get there, flare up, 
you have two go to the left, no big deal. But you see this one, I stretched my smoke just right so I can do a one smoke finish that I, I didn't do on the last one. This is the preferred method. 30 girls go to the left and die, no big deal. All the girls can settle, clear the core. And here I zoom, I zoom in to hit the shock, which you can see one shock gets everything that you need. Everything else is firing at the bullet. So just keep taunting and keep shocking. And in hindsight, which is always perfect, I could have I could have killed this had I uh, I went about it a little bit differently. But as you can see right there, I just I just now shocked those defenses defenses again, and bullet died. And you can see I had a lot of GBE still in the bank. So what I could have done, had I known that bullet wouldn't have lasted, what I could have done, and what you could could do is instead of uh, I could have spent one of my shocks on these machine guns up here and and gave him an extra 10 seconds of life and used a critter around here by the core for these shock launchers and that would have given my girls an extra couple of shots at least uh, on the core and you can see I it was a uh, 1.2 so 1.37 2.64 Four is about a 2.7 million, a little over 2.72 2 million uh, ransom, and I left 325k on it. So I did about 2.45 million in damage, and I could have killed it had I just done like I said, spent one shock on the on the machine guns up top also uh, to buy a bullet a little bit extra life, but. You don't know that he's going to die. You think he's going to last, but you can't see his health bar when he's behind the core. So it kind of surprised me when he died. But this is just this this just shows you that even though I didn't do it very very clean uh, and I could have done things differently, you can still do a lot of damage and solo big ransoms uh, uh, with bullet doing it this way. And uh, I hope this helps you out. And thanks for watching.